Okay, so um, the authentication piece is basically a little login that you're going to enter a username and password, and then it'll you know, verify it on the database and reroute you to the menu. And I have an example in here of how that's going to work. So you'll key in a username and a password. Log in and it should take you to whatever your menu is. And if you log in incorrectly, then it takes you to some kind of an error screen where you basically have to go back to log in and try it again. Okay, so. Um, the code for this is in this little zipped file. Um, and the table that you're going to create uh, in either DevServer or Laragon is right here. And you're just going to add that table to your own database. And what I have done on the production server is I went ahead and added that table for you. So I'm gonna show you that it's already in all of your database files. Okay, so if, you, if I open any of these, you're gonna see that auth users table is already in there. And then when you guys send me the code for the tables for your app, I will be adding those as well. Okay, so all of you have an auth users table on the production server already. So what you are going to have to do is create this on the test server. Okay, and then you're going to want to at least insert one row with, you know, your user information. And uh, then you're going to do a login form and a login script. And so this is the login form that I gave you in the zipped file. Very basic, very simple. Uh, the action that you're going to post to is this user login PHP file. And if you remember, it uses the name attribute as the key to the post array. So we have the name of username and the name of password. And when it gets submitted, we're checking the post array and we're subscripting in with username and password. Okay. And if they're not filled in, then it goes back to the login form. And then if they are filled in, we make that uh, database connection and we basically retrieve what they've keyed in clean them up, store them, and then we use a select statement. So this is selecting columns, uh, first name and last name, from auth users, and it's checking the username to make sure it's the same as what they keyed in, and it's checking the password. Those are in the where. Okay? And as long as they found a row, okay, that means that the user was in there, and we reroute them to the address book, whatever menu system you have, okay? And then if the username and password were not in the system, that's when they get the error message, okay? So that's pretty much uh, how the two things work. And like I said, this is pretty simple. Um, what your lab assignment then entails is you are going to have to recreate that database on the test system. And in addition to the login form and the login script, you need to create a form and a script that adds new users to the table. And you need to create a form and a script that deletes users from the table. Okay, so you have to do an add and a delete script in addition to the login script because that will let you manage the table 
without having to go into PHP My Admin. Uh, you'll be able to, you know, add and remove users. And that just makes it a little bit easier for you to manage. Okay, so you're going to do the form to add, the form to delete, and then you have that authorization form that reroutes to your project menu. Okay. And so I've kind of given you the code for the table. I've given you basically the code for the authorization form and login. And what you're going to have to come up with is the code that does the add and the delete. And this is very similar to what we've been working on for the last several weeks. Okay. So you will create a form that's going to add the data. Okay, and when they submit the form, it's gonna to have to go to an ad script and you'll have to create a form that deletes the data. Okay, so you'll probably just select the, the key or username and then delete them from the database. Okay, so uh, when you are done, this should have a number of four on it, but <laughs> um, you're going to want to FTP your files because that database is already live on the server, okay? And then um, you should link the authorization form, the create and the delete uh, into your assignment page along with your final project menu. Once you guys are done with uh, the CRUD functions for your final project, remember to send me your SQL scripts because I will add them to the production server. Okay, and a couple of you have already done that. So uh, once you do that, uh, like I said, you're three fourths of the way done with the final project. Do you guys have any questions about what you need to be working on? Okay, so the rest of today is lab for you guys to work on this. And then we're gonna have lab on Wednesday. So if you have problems with anything, it is a really good opportunity to share your screen with me and then I will be able to help you. We can figure out what the problem is and it doesn't matter if it's creating the database or if it's doing an ad, it doesn't matter what it is. You know, we will figure it out. Sound like a good plan? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the video.